Good afternoon, this is Rifka from Rifka's Craft Corner, and guess what guys? I am now starting on my Mystery Diamond Painting with Mayhem. Uh, we have a, a uh, hashtag called, let me double check, she and I discussed the hashtag earlier. Um... Yeah, I wasn't sure what our hashtag was going to be. I think I, I told her I was thinking of um, mystery, mystery Painting Friends. That is our hashtag, Mystery Painting Friends. See, this is a special mystery diamond painting between me and Mayhem. We had set this up, oh my word, months ago, guys, months ago. And I am seriously excited. This is the one I am working on sure what I did here. There. I'll bring it down a little bit. There. It should show. Yeah. It's a little blurry, but I think you guys can see it. Now, this is an ever moment. The size of this ever moment, believe it or not, I already did all this, I think. But the size of the ever moment, if I can find my <laughs> my tools, I just had my tools. I have some unique things I'm going to be putting on um, my Etsy. And I can show it here if you would like to see it. But I have a couple unique ones. I have this one right here, which is a cute little turtle. And I have another one right here, which is a cute little butterfly. Sorry. That's what I plan on putting on my Etsy store sometime soon. And they are metal. And it will take me a little bit of time to create them. But I decided to go not on this square, not on this square, but this square, not on this square, this square, or this square. Um, I'm seriously 100% excited about this. Me and Mayhem had done a major discussion of what we wanted to do. And um, she wants to put this on her, in, on her um, Instagram. Although this is a premiere. I will have this as a premiere. And I'm very, very excited about it. Um, so, first things first. I have this beautiful setup, already set up a while back for Mayhem uh, when I did the unboxing. I put them in this beautiful, beautiful case. Really, it's a beautiful case. Um, well, the colors I need is O three thirty. Four. So three thirty four. Mm. Right here, the O. Sorry, I'm, <laughs> this is upside down. But three thirty four is the one I'm looking for right here. So just give me a couple minutes. 334, where did I put you? <laughs> I know I did. Um, I set this all up. I was so excited about it. Because I have um, a thing here. Uh, it, it's the cheapy kind, but it's my kind. Um, Okay, here's 334. This is 334, which is O. So I'll put O right there. And then there's X's. Let's see what X's is. This. 3746. I'm trying to get this all set up so I can start working on my diamond painting here. Okay, 
3746 is a purple color. This one right here. So, that one. And what I'll do is I'll put the symbol on the very top, not on the bottom. On the side, I have it 334 and 3746, so I know which one's what. And what I'll do is I'll actually put above this the, the symbols, so that'll help me. Then I have this weird symbol, which is 553, which is very weird, but 553 will work great. Um, five five three. Just saw five five three. It's another purple color. There's a lot of blues on this one though. So five five three. And then I have the use I think I should use. So the use is 809 and I'm just getting them all set up. So use is 809 not 803. I have a lot of uh, it's all organized and everything believe it or not. 809 is a light blue, guys. It's so pretty. See? Very pretty. It's light blue. Okay. So those are the colors I'm going to go with for right now. That's done. That's done. That can be brought down. Okay, cool. I will not be using this part right here. And I'll be putting this back in here, and I'll be putting this back for Mayhem's Mystery Diamond Painting. Because I have it, and I have the colors, which I will put, I guess I will put on top of it what it is actually for. I, I don't have that expensive kind. I got this over um, at AliExpress, which was a very good buy. Ugh. Give me a moment, people. I I am prepared, but uh, this tape has been giving me a havoc and a half. I'm not sure why I did that, but oh well. I know what it did, and I know how it's going to go, so whatever. So anyways, back to what I was saying. So this is my um, my mystery diamond painting with um, Mayhem, and I'm really, really excited about it. So here we are with um, 809. I'm going to put these out and set them up with um, a little washi tape, I think. A little washi tape of uh, color. And then I'll mark it with something. Yeah, I think I'll use the sunflower for the washi tape. So, I have a I have new washi tape that I've been using, and I oh, I'm dropping things everywhere. Um, I'm very excited, guys. Really am. So here's the washi tape. I'm going to take that, I'm going to put this right here, so I know what I'm doing. This one right here, and I'm going to put uh, a color on it, or, uh, you know, my, um, I'll leave that there, and I'll put down a um, explanation of it. I suppose is what it's called. I do have um, a pen. Don't know what I did with my pen, but I do have one. But there you go, right there. I have a diamond painting pen, which is awesome. I have quite a few diamond painting pens. 
but I'm looking for my normal pen, which I use all the time. Maybe this is my pen. Yep, this is my pen. So 809, wrong color. 809 is the U. So I could probably put the U. Nope, it's not liking this, so I probably won't do it on washi tape. I was thinking washi tape would be a brilliant idea. How wrong am I? I was just trying to do the washi tape so I could prevent ruining my uh, my diamond painting thing. So, one second, checking to see if I see anyone talk, which no one did. Um, yeah, okay, we're good. So, 809 I'll work on. Now, this is a square. This is an ever moment. And like I said, this is a sixty by forty, I believe. Yeah, it's a sixty by forty. So it's a sixty by forty. So what I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to set these down here so I know what I'm doing and set this down here so I know what I'm doing and then I'm gonna get this all set up okay never I'm not sure why it's so wonky but that's okay okay guys so here we are I'm very very excited so here we are. I am going to start working on this diamond painting and we're going to talk. As I was telling you before, I am doing a diamond painting with, this is a mystery diamond painting with Creative Mayhem. And this will be a premiere. And she's just one wonderful lady. I am so thankful I met her and she and I got along so good and we're like maybe we should um, do a a collab together and we discussed it for a while and here we are now we're doing a collab together so 809 is you 809 is you so I'm going to be doing the use right now with the um, squares you have to somewhat be precise. But I've gotten used to the uh with the I'm not sure what it is. I've gotten so used to the colors I have now. So used to them. Um to the squares. It's really strange. I used to not even understand squares, and now it's like I'm doing squares all the time. And uh, you grow. You actually grow when you're doing the diamond paintings. Now, uh, while I'm working on this, Mayhem will be in the audience, so you can ask her some questions. Um, I have... We have only been friends, uh, I would say, about three months. Um, we were talking about two weeks before the very first uh, collab, um, not a collab, but um, community event of diamond painting with, uh, with Rebecca. And we wanted to do a diamond painting together. Well, at the time, 
I was paired up with somebody else, and um, Mayhem wasn't able to go into it. She wanted to go into it, but because um, we couldn't choose our partners, uh, Mayhem and I started talking, and we, we said that we were going to get each other a diamond painting separately and make it a, a true mystery diamond painting. And I got to tell you, Creative Mayhem, she's one awesome lady. Her, her link will be in this video. She is very kind, very sweet. Uh, one of her, uh, one of her craft works is she loves working with uh, cross stitching. Now, I don't know how to cross stitch. I would love to learn. Maybe Mayhem can teach me. We'll find out. Now, in this mystery, um, we will be giving out prizes at the end of this mystery diamond painting between her and me, which will be really sweet. I think you guys will like it. Um, it'll, and I will also be uh, getting some pens when I can afford it. Um, well, not afford it, but, you know, send a free, send some pens in to be made. And then, yeah, we will be getting some pens. So I will be looking forward to that. And I will be making cover miners left and right. So I'm really, really excited about my cover minders that I will be making. On Etsy, there will be, hopefully if I can work it out right, uh, there will be a 10% off of my items for the holiday season. Um, I will be giving you a code to put in, but the thing is, I don't know if it'll let me put two codes in or just one because of the fact that if you spend over $75 US, you get free shipping. And I have that up on the very, very top in the main, in the main um, part of my, my thing. So that will be awesome. Uh, When I got to know Mayhem, she she's such a wonderful lady. I honestly mean it. She she and I talked about a lot of different things. Even when I was in the hospital, she she checked in on me and said, "Are you okay?" I'm like, "Yeah, I'm okay. I promise I'm okay." Um, I had a lot of people concerned about me while I was in the hospital. That one emergency hospital visit. <sighs> Let me think what else I can talk about. Today was uneventful. I kind of relaxed. I kind of um, slacked a little bit. Had to get away from, you know, all the lives I was working on and everything. And this one is a premiere, so it's not really a live. So it'll be kind of nice. But... We will be doing our lives. Not I'll be doing a live, but she will be in the conversations. Just to let you know, she has told me she will be in the conversations. Every Australian Thursday, which is the Wednesday. And that is at... Let me double check. That is at... 8 a uh, 7 30 a.m. to so it's 6 it's 5 30 p.m. to 6 to 7 so 5 30 p.m. to 7 will be my Thursday your guys is Wednesday in the United States so that would be kind of awesome too um I've been 
I've been offered a couple things, which is nice. Um, in in uh, Instagram, someone's been talking to me back and forth. So, yeah, it's exciting about that. Uh, they want me to buy something, but then they'll give me um, money back for it. So, yeah, it'll be awesome. Oh, I must have spelled Brian wrong. Oh, well. Sorry, I just found out a, a person that's leaving um, a group of ours. Anyway... I will be putting down my schedules so you know when my collabs will be with certain people. Um, in November I will have a collab. In the beginning of November I will have a collab with Wolfpack. I'm waiting for my mail to come in. So we'll see when that mail comes. And we'll do our collabing. It's actually a community event through um, Rebecca and Mickey. Their second uh, mystery diamond painting, and I was paired with a uh, Wolfpack. One of the one of these days, I hope Wolfpack will just do a collab with me, just by itself, and we'll talk about that later on. So we'll see. And, um, that's, that's what's going to be going on there. Uh, January is going to be a big one, and so is, uh, November going to be a big one. I will be doing a collab with Nick and Tina in November. In December, I will be doing a collab with, uh, Koala Crafts, as far as I know. And I will be doing a collab with Mallory, as far as I know. We'll have to discuss the dates and the times. Because I have two collab spots in my scheduling. Um, I have a whole lot of things planned on my channel. I am planning on doing a, uh, not a premiere, but um, showing how to crochet things or showing how to do resin work. I might do a live later on where I actually do a little bit of resin work before I start diamond painting, but I haven't fully made a decision on that yet. I will tell you I do like this color. I think it's turning out really pretty. So, and this color is 809. I don't think I have uh, that color in my in my link. Sorry, in the in my uh, specials. I really don't think I do. Um I'll find out. No, that's not it. Uh I have in the bottom. Okay, see, I have these right here, but these are like 820s and all that. I do have 820 in this, and this is square, so I'll pull that out. Uh, I don't think I have 520, no. But I do probably have 550, which I'll be using. Some sparklers. And 7... 98 I don't have in this one but I do have some new ones that came in from uh, somebody who sent me these um, trying to find where I put them they're in here somewhere because uh, she sent them to me um, but they are not from um, sparklers some of my sparklers is from the sparkler person, and the others is not. So it's a little disappointing that I don't have a whole lot of sparklers, but it'll be fun, guys. It really will be. 
Um, I am really, really excited about some of my new setups and things that's going to be happening. And my husband is going to have his CNC working soon. And so much is going to happen, guys. It really is. So much is going to happen. Just had it. There you are. So, anyways, back to 809. I'm right now doing the use right here. And I am talking about Mayhem. And, yes, I will put her link in my description. I'm, like I said, I'm truly excited about it. And, yes, there will be prizes. Now, when I start these uh, mini prizes, which I call mini prizes, when I do the mini prizes, people will win a small, uh, not sure what you call it, a small, help me here, a, a small thing from me in my resin work is what I was trying to say. It won't be very small, but something like, Here's an example of what I'm thinking of for like uh, giveaways. Like, like I have, um, I make these. So I can make like small things like this. Um, I might even make a couple other things too. Or I might uh, give away like a cute little um, butterfly and put glow in the dark on it or something like that. That's my goals. That's my thoughts. I mean, this is not really small, but I can even make something like this and sell that. And not sell that, but give it away. Um, it, it, um, I will give a link. I knew something fell. What fell? Okay, I'm confused. I am very confused what broke or fell or whatever. Something fell in here. I knew something did. I had that odd feeling something fell, but I didn't know what. And because I wasn't in here, I heard something fell, but I wasn't sure what fell. So, yeah. Um. So, anyways, as I said, I have um certain little things I... Uh, we'll be working with now I'm going to be asking what fell in this thing what did fall was it anything ooh okay I'll have to fix that but yeah that's uh that's what I am talking about um I'm excited about it all and these are these are gonna be wonderful little little trinkets, little gifts, little things, and I thought you guys would like them. So, um, I also will be making um a couple other things too. I have kind of fell in love with using um a certain a certain thing. Um, let me see something. I just got the 360, ha ha ha, the E600, and that should fix the problems once and for all. Because like I said, glue does not work, guys. Not glue, but um, epoxy does not work for glue. Um, because it seems some of my glue, my um, my stuff has been falling off, and um, I've been fixing them with E six thousand. See, I have an E six thousand. I have Crashly to thank for that one, because she's the one who suggested try out E six thousand. It will hold your stuff better. So. Let's try it. 
Oi. No. No, 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 no. You're fine. <laughs> One thing about E6000, it does, it is pretty sticky. Okay. So I'll let that uh, dry. And then I should have no more problems ever again with uh, my pieces coming apart. Sorry, I just noticed it being laying around. So anyways, that's what I was thinking about. Um, and for the prizes, uh, there will be... I'm going to look into getting a gift certificate to give you guys um, either from DAC or from TSA. I haven't decided which one yet. But if I don't do that, then it'll be something like I already got from like um, CES deals or something like that because I had a few of them. So. Let me know what you think. Let me know. Uh, the questions won't start this this week. It'll start next week. Okay, guys? It's just to get myself all ready and set up for, for the questions that's to come. But I think this is very pretty. Um, I have no clue what she got me. This is a mystery, guys. So, of course, in a mystery, you don't know what you got. A mystery diamond painting means someone buys you a mystery diamond painting. Someone goes out of the limb. You buy them a mystery diamond painting. They buy you a mystery diamond painting. Now, because, uh, because Mayhem and I did it this way, uh, she, she sent me one from Ever Moment and I sent her one from Ever Moment. She told me that the one she sent me is a custom painting. By the way, I love the size of 40 by 60. I'm very happy with that size. It takes me forever to do the other sizes. Trust me. It really, really does. So, I'm very, very, and then the high end excitement that I have coming up is that um, Brian and I will be doing a collab together in January, and Kara and I will be doing a collab in January, so I will have my, my mind on working on those two. Plus, I will be doing the wolf along with a wolf pack. So, my 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 uh my schedule will be very busy. And then to top it off, we might be looking for a place to live. Um my husband and I are working on trying to get um homes for a homeless and he has high he has high hopes and high thoughts of what he wants to do and um he wants me to see his vision i i'm trying i tr truly am trying um one thing one thing in a marriage is that you both um you both discuss things and you both talk and I talked to Jeff and he's told me his his vision of what to do for the homeless and I'm like trying to see his vision. It's not easy to see it. I, I know it's supposed to be easy, but I'm I'm having a hard time seeing his vision. And it's not because I'm not trying to see his vision. I really want to see his vision, you know. But I can't grasp 
what he actually wants me to do. But I'm not going to complain about it. I mean, I, I've, I've talked to him. He wants me to grab, grab, grasp his vision. So that's going to be quite interesting. Because <laughs> um, we might be doing crowdfunding or something like that to get help on the start building homes for the homeless because um hunt, there is a lot and i mean a lot of homeless people in australia i mean especially in in new south wales is where we're aiming for because we used to live in new south wales so yeah we're aiming for um helping the homeless um, when my husband and I was homeless, and yes, we have been homeless, guys, we really have. When we were homeless, um, they did not have a place for couples, aka husband and wife, to be together. Um, they separated, they wanted to separate us. They wanted to put me through, um, what is it called? Uh, women's women's um you know where battered women's place whatever it's called i wasn't a battered woman i was i mean i i was happily and still am happily married to my husband so i was like um hmm not sure about that but okay that's that's fine uh we'll we'll work with it so I'm just fixing this one up just a tad guys because I have two U's up here and I need to make certain I fix the U's I thought I had it just right but it seems that I didn't cut it just right but don't worry about that I'll have it fixed so yeah um when we found out about that, that they didn't have a place for a husband and a wife, just for a woman and children, but not a husband and a wife, we wanted to be with each other. I mean, I was, I'm, I've been happily married to this man for seven years, going on eight years. There has not been any problems with my marriage with my husband. Not one bit. I've been so happy. So, we just got um, 890 done. And I am loving this color. This color is a light blue. Oh, come on out. Thank you. There's some not s sitting well here. Um, when I put this in here, I I messed up. I uh, one thing about this tray, I love this tray holder and everything, but it does get um. It it does one thing I've noticed about the tray holder is that it does sadly get um what's the word i'm trying to find here it does get sadly the drills get stuck um through this little this funnel right here it comes out of the funnel and into the tray holder that makes it hard sometimes to get it out. So now I am doing 553, which is this weird symbol. It looks like a sword to me. So that's what I'm working on now. I do love the, I do love, and, and look at this right here. I love this um, setup. 
I, I got one of these. But I, I got the generic brand. I didn't get the um, Margaret, whatever it's called. I got the generic brand. And it works well. So we're going to work on this now. And yeah, it looks like a sword. So back to what I was talking about. I was... So my husband and I, after that whole ordeal, decided, well, we got in our hearts that we want to help the homeless. Uh, we want to give back and get homes for people who are married and has children. That's, that's our vision. That's our hope. Uh, we... Uh, People are loving the idea when we call them. They love the idea, but they don't want to help, which is kind of strange in my book. But they love the idea of helping the homeless. Don't get me wrong about that. They're like, you're being very, um, not genuine. What's the word? It'll come to me. You are being very sensitive to the homeless people and but it's only because I've been homeless and my husband has been homeless so we know what it's all about we were homeless for four months guys this was when we were uh, temporarily living um, on the street yes we did but we didn't have to eat from uh, trash cans or anything like that uh, we got um, and my husband now at the time I was not a permanent resident and I wasn't getting any money from anybody and we were living off of just my husband's paychecks seriously um, when we <laughs> When we uh, tried to get some help, they, they they didn't... What did I do? Oh, okay. Um, so we were living off of my husband's paycheck. That's all. Um, he, he, his uh, Centerlink payment. Myself, they wouldn't let me get a job. Although I had all the skills skills I needed to get a decent job they wouldn't let me get a job they said all my skills in America did not carry over to Australia so that did not help me get a job when we really needed it so long story short we were living off of my husband's paycheck and his paycheck was only five hundred and fifty dollars every fortnight it was not much and um... they would not help us get into a place to stay they uh... when we did try to get a place to stay they said we can't help you there but we can get you clothes we can get you food we can even get you medication if you need medication. We just can't get you in a home. So, this is what happened. When I came, um, when we came into New South Wales, we, what, just fell? Oh, nothing, just fell. Okay, that's fine. When we came into New South Wales, we came in a car. That's all we came in. Clothes on our backs and in a car. Uh, we had a tent in there. It was raining that night when we came into New South Wales. Uh, and then we uh, camped in a... We didn't go into a tent. We went, this is going to make you guys laugh, but we actually slept in a toilet block. It's basically, there's, there's a male's, there's a man's 
a bathroom on one side, a female's bathroom on the other side, and in the middle, there was nothing. And we slept on a, on concrete, on a mattress, very thin mattress at that. So we were very um, uncomfortable. I didn't sleep very well at that time because I had bad. I have a bad back. So yeah, that was quite <laughs> interesting. The next night. Now remember, this this area was pretty uh, quiet. Very. Um, it was okay. Um. Wouldn't want to do it again. I'll let you know that now. Would never want to do that again. So, after that, then we went into another camping spot. Uh, yeah, another camping spot. And I was in so much pain, guys. I was in so much pain. So, we were in a um when we camped it was where the greyhound dogs ran you know one of those um you know how they have like a horse racing they also have a greyhound dog racing and we were sleeping in the open at the greyhound dog racing place that was fun not really the next day, I was walking. I was in so much pain. And I was like, okay. I, I, I was really hurting. And I was like, okay. And I found this one place that was a, um, a Christian-based, what you call a um, second-hand shop, if it's what you can call it. And we went there, and I was talking to the lady there, and I explained the situation, and she called her pastor, who owned the shop. Well, the pastor came in, and he gave us, he paid for us to stay in a, um, in a bed and breakfast place well not really bed and breakfast it's like a hotel um, I'm not sure what you call it a hostel area hotel area not really hotel but you know what I'm talking about like a uh, it's above the uh, bar area so yeah so we stayed there for seven days that was fun During that time, the um, my husband said there is no way you are going to lay down in a place like that. You know, not in the, not in like the Greyhound place. Or he said there's no way. So we go over to the um because. We only had seven days. Seven days that we were paid for, and I didn't pay for it. It was um, the pastor who paid for it. And we went over to a what you call a trailer place. Um, we call it a um, where you go camping at. You you take your trailer into the campground type of place. But it wasn't a campground per se. It was like a trailer park. And I remember that day my husband says, we're going to pay for this. And then I don't know what we'll be doing next. So we went and paid for the where we camp. You know, that night we stayed at the um, trailer park. And they had like this beautiful place. We actually went to that same trailer park 
um, for our honeymoon for three days right after we got married. So it was the same trailer park. And long story short, we stayed there for a so we stay there for that night and then the next night I go and said is there any way you have like a trailer a trailer that we could stay in uh, and we pay rent and first words came out of her mouth was no but then she said wait a minute yeah it just opened up I go we'll take it and that's where we stayed for a year and a, I think it was a year and a month. So, that was an interesting adventure. I'll tell you that adventure later on. But I wanted to just talk and tell you what happened while we were homeless. So, in Australia, if you live in a trailer park, you are technically homeless, even then. Um, we were, he, my husband was getting, um, my husband was getting, uh, Centerlink benefits. Um, but they, they didn't give me benefits. They didn't give me benefits at all during the time I was in that trailer park. So... But that's a, another story. We had we had a nice time living there. Got to know the neighbors very well. They weren't noisy. But we did have right next to us the the place we you know like a um you can rent rooms there and stuff like that. So Overall, my that that's my experience of being homeless, and then we went through another homeless time for about four months. So first, when we first got into New South Wales, we were homeless technically, and that's not including living in the trailer park. Um, almost two weeks and then when we left the um, trailer park we were homeless for four months and that's a different story entirely now I have a question for you guys anyone here afraid of spiders Raise your hand. Let me know. See, um, I don't know how to do polymer clay. I don't know how to do certain things. But I do know um, how to diamond paint. I do know how to crochet. I do know how to do resin work. Um, I'm waiting for things in the mail still that's resin work based. I have molds still coming. I have things that will be going on to my Etsy shop. I showed you a couple of them that I'm going to be adding to my Etsy shop. Um, I will be talking to someone about making um, special uh, drill pins drill pins over here in Australia I can buy them for about I think $25 or is it, yeah $25 is how much I paid um, I have stuff from Serial Crafter uh, Serial Craft print, Printer AKA also what you call pastime prints, which is um, Australian based. That one is, but the one, uh, the Serial Craft printer is actually based in UK, I think. 
Um, I did get a beautiful diamond painting pen from Patriotic Beauty. I will be doing an unboxing of that. I already showed it earlier, but I'm going to do the unboxing and putting it up with a few other things I unbox. Um, I can tell you I've gotten used to the idea of doing um, squares. It's really strange. But I actually am enjoying doing squares. I guess with uh, getting as many squares as I have been from um, from ever moment, I just started getting very used to doing squares. Um, my favorite companies to work with at the moment is um, my word, where are you guys going? Are you dropping in in the middle here or what? I just don't know. Are you falling on the ground? I don't see him on the ground. That's kind of strange. Hmm. I'll probably find him tomorrow morning. It is um, 11.25. I was just trying to do a very quick, um, very quick premiere. Uh, introducing uh, my partner, uh, Mayhem, and our mystery diamond painting. I like how I set up this situation though. I am building myself up in, in the community. I'm not building myself up, but I'm trying to, you know, I hope everyone likes some of my contents. I know you guys like my stories, and I definitely know you love my Australian husband's accent. That will be on Thursday. I pro uh, My Thursday, your guys' is Wednesday. I promise that. But um, I'm just going to finish this uh, row because I am getting tired and I need to go to bed. And I need to get this premiere up. But I just thought I would talk to you guys and let you know what I was doing. And um, letting you guys know the change in schedules um, I do believe I put that in my Instagram so people will know when I am scheduled to go live I will be putting on a couple things what in the world did I put here sorry guys I just noticed I put something wrong here Yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> um, it is getting warmer here in Australia, in Queensland. Um, I believe in, in, in um, December, Koala Crafts and I will be doing our collab. I believe I was supposed to do another collab with Elizabeth, but I haven't heard from her, so I don't know what's going on. I also want to welcome back one of our key players, Robert. Welcome back, Robert. You were truly missed.
Um, and yeah, I'm I'm very very pleasantly ex ex excited about my collabs that I have coming up. I have my 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 stuff that's going to be happening. Um, so yeah, I'm very very excited, guys. Okay, so for right now, I am going to be going to bed. Many blessings and shalom. Please give me a thumbs up if you love this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Please ring the bell, which is this little guy. It's actually my wedding bell that I had when it's a heart bell. And it was a wedding bell that I had from our wedding uh, in back. Uh, it was a renewal of vows at that time. So I'm using that bell. And please comment and let me know how I'm doing. What you would like to talk about with me and Mayhem starting next Thursday. Many blessings, guys. And shalom.